sitting down with a refreshing drink is always nice, but those trays don't hold very much ice. Getting more trays would overstuff your freezer. Well, here's a way that's much easier. Introducing Ice Genie. What's going on YouTube? This is Tom and welcome to, yes, another As Seen on TV product review. Today's product, we are gonna take a look at the original Ice Genie. Ice Genie can hold up to three batches of ice cubes. That's 120 ice cubes at a time. Wow, no more overcrowding. Save a ton of space in your freezer. Take off the lid and now you're ready to serve the whole party. Ice left in open trays starts to smell, but Ice Genie's airtight lid keeps your cubes fresh and odor free. Even fancy refrigerator ice makers run out of ice or get clogged up. And to get ice out of trays, you have to turn and twist ice cube tray with a twist. Basically, what it claims is that it saves space in your freezer and can hold up to 120 ice cubes. The revolutionary space-saving ice cube maker that can replace as many as 10 traditional ice cube trays. So, I'm a little skeptical about this. I see where it can be a space saver. It is round and kind of small, but we're gonna dive into this box and take a look and see what we get. Stay tuned. All right, so diving into the box here, we get uh, Ice Genie Cool Tips. It says, please note, prior to first use, you may find it difficult to remove the cylinder from the Ice Genie Cube Maker. Rest assured, once frozen, the cylinder will be easy to remove when following the included instructions. Oh, and another cool tip on the other side. How about that? Double-sided cool tip. This one says, once frozen, may find it more convenient when making additional batches of ice to remove the ice cubes from the unit and place them into a separate bowl. For more tips and instructional videos, visit icegenietips.com. That's pretty cool. All right, so taking a look in this box, let's see what we got. That's it for that. Of course, there's the the lid, the lid. Oh, how about that? Nice little pair of tongs. The actual instruction, the instruction manual. And this is the actual cylinder itself. So, Anyways, we're going to take a look and check this out. Ice Genie is easy. Just fill and chill. The secret is the unique double chamber design. The outer chambers freeze the ice cubes, while the airtight inner cylinder holds them until you're ready to use them. Just lift out the inner cylinder and empty the cubes into the bucket. Then just refill and freeze again. All right, so after looking over the instructions, it looks pretty simple. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and we're gonna make ice cubes. Step one, it says take your cylinder and your, take your cylinder and you're basically gonna insert it into the chamber as such, making sure that it's flush all the way to the bottom of the cylinder. And as you can see, it's, well, it's, it's flush. And then basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill, see these little holes right here? There's little holes where you pour water into. And we're gonna pour water in there and it's gonna fill up these chambers. See these bubbles? It's gonna fill up these bubbles or chambers with the water. And you can tell if you're doing it right or if you've got a good seal because I don't see any water in the center.
I don't see any water in the center at all. I'm gonna make sure. Be careful not to put the water directly into the chamber. And of course, I don't have any water in the chamber. And basically, we're gonna snap the lid onto the Ice Genie Cube Maker. Place upright in the freezer until all the water is frozen. It says about four to six hours. So, gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer. But just press Ice Genie's flexible chamber and those cold cubes pop at your command. Put on the spill-proof lid for easy storage. When you're finished, just rinse or toss in the dishwasher. Then fill and chill again. All right, so it's been about eight hours and so definitely feels frozen. So we're gonna go ahead and take the lid off. And as you can see, yep, it's frozen up. And basically what we wanna do is get this cylinder out and then squeeze it. So you just have to squeeze it a little bit to loosen up that middle cylinder part. So you just go around like that. And it should lift out. Yep, there you go. And it lifts out. And so there you're left with the all the ice in the inside. And now we just squeeze it to get all the ice chunks out. And I'm going to pour it in a bowl because I want to show you how much ice this actually makes. And that's what it made. Um, smaller than your typical ice cube. But uh, eh, not too shabby. Um, it's not a lot of ice. I think you can get double that with a regular ice tray. But uh, it, like I said, it is compact. It took up hardly any space in the freezer. It just sat there on the shelf and um, so that's that as far as making the ice I think it's about the same as a regular ice tray uh, it's got a neat design I like the I like the feel um, but other than that that's pretty much it so not a lot of ice All right, so for my final review, um, like I said, it didn't it didn't make a lot of ice at all. Um, didn't take that long, four or six hours, typical time to make ice in, in a regular ice tray. But um, it went for nineteen ninety nine. To me, that's a bit expensive, especially for what you get. Well, I don't know what you're paying for. Um, you don't get a lot of ice. It doesn't take up much room in the freezer, but it, it's not worth $19.99. So, final review. Two thumbs down. So, stay tuned for other As Seen on TV product reviews. And until next time... Go Yankees.